the XB40 Pasquale walking tractor and we're going to do a run through on how the machine works and how to operate it. For the identification of the controls, this is your on off switch here, this is your park brake here, this is your diff lock, this is your forward and reverse shuttle, this is your throttle lever here. On this particular model you have turning brakes, one for the left and one for the right over here. This handle here is your power safe lever, so you need to pull your clutch lever up, hold the power safe lever down and have your hand on the power safe lever all the time for the machine to be working. This lever here is to adjust your handle up and down. This here, here, <coughs> here is your gear stick. This is your PDO lever to engage it in and out. And this handle here is to adjust your handle <coughs> off to the left or the right. Okay, now we're going to show you how to reverse the handle. You just pop your gear lever off, pop your PDO lever off, pull this handle up here on your right hand side and then we just walk the whole handle around, let that lever down which locks it in position and bring both handles around and just clip them back into the clips that you've released them from. And therefore if you're using a flail mower you need to reverse your handles this way once you've reversed your handles, you do have to put this into the reverse position because we reversed the handles and now so you can drive forward. So down here you have your dipstick for the power safe transmission which you need to check before each use. When you remove that dipstick your oil level has to be up to the top mark here. Okay, And then before each time you use this machine you should always check the engine oil level. To do that just remove your dipstick, have the whole machine level, remove your dipstick and the oil will be pretty well running out of, out of the dipstick hole here. So, so the oil will be all the way up to the top of the dipstick. once you've checked that you just push that back in. To start the machine you come back up you flick your switch back to the on position then we come up to the front of the machine and you'll turn your fuel on by pushing it that way the sticker tells you there that the fuel's on. Push your choke back for the choke to be engaged pull the start cord once the engine fires we turn the choke back on and the machine will be running. Okay, this is your oil bath air cleaner. You do need to check this every couple of hours. So by doing that, you just remove the wing nut, remove your top cover. This is part of your air cleaner up here. This is your oil bath here. If you find a lot of dirt sitting down in here, you need to remove that, tip the oil out, clean this, clean this, and replenish it with the oil and you just fill your oil up to the top mark here, the level mark there. Once you've done that, to put it back on, you just sit that on, sit this on, sit your plate on, and just tighten up your wing nut. And the oil that we put in there is a 10W30, SAE 10W30 oil. Okay, we're going to drive the walking tractor here. We need to lift the clutch lever up. My hand will go down on the power safe lever, which I have to hold down all the time. We're going to select second gear, and we'll have our forward reverse shuttle in the forward position. Lift the machine up. I'll let the clutch out. The machine will drive forward. Pull the clutch to stop it. If you want to go in reverse, you remove your shuttle back to the reverse position, let the clutch out again and we'll go in reverse. We wanted to engage the PDO, what we would do is just push this lever in. Ok, 
Okay, we're just going to demonstrate how the quick hitch works. We want to change from our rotary plough to our tiller. So we lift the red lever up here. We just drive ourselves out away from the rotary plough. We come back into our tiller. that we've come all the way hard in on our quick hitch and then we just let our lever down and we've just changed implements. Okay this is a range of our implements that we have available. This is our 85 centimetre flail mower, our 80 centimetre heavy duty mower, our Gremenia spader, our R2 power harrow, this is a BCS tipping trailer in the background, then we have our Birda single rotary plough. Here we have our Birda rigger that goes in behind the tiller. On the stand here we have a single furrow plough. This here is a bed shaper. This here is our potato lifter. And this is our five time cultivator. These are all available from us. Okay, you'll receive these two forms with your walking tractor when it's sent to you. If you could please sign the safety form and the warranty form and send them back to us in the self-addressed envelope that will be supplied.